my dad was a minister, so it was really hard to get him to let me do hip hop dance. And um, mostly, I guess, because of the music, which I could, I can understand for a kid, because I, I was a kid when I started dancing, 15 years old. Afrobeats is the music that we all listen to. Even my parents, um, growing up, like I said, I wasn't able to listen to rap music, but African music was definitely something that I was able to listen to outside of the gospel music and jazz and all that he was just really like apprehensive about the music I was listening to and listening to hip hop. So I didn't really start taking hip hop classes until maybe like my senior year of high school when I was 16. And then Afrobeats, I started doing Afrobeats when I started going to the African club. So that was pretty much like after high school is when I found that style and was like, okay, I think this is my thing. My name is Cece Tor and I'm a professional choreographer and dancer. Dance to me is my favorite way to express myself. Um, I have a lot of other different ways that I creatively express myself, but dance is my favorite by far. The favorite thing about teaching a dance class is that when my students are in my class and they're learning my choreography, they're not thinking about anything else along their life but learning that dance at that point. And we all have a lot going on, like, life is crazy. And just to be able to get that release and to be able to give them that release to really just express themselves and let go of whatever stress they're going through for the week. That's what really fulfills me. Okay, so for me, what I do is it's very important to stretch in the beginning of class. I don't want anybody pulling anything in my class. So I start out with stretching, and then I'll warm up the body with maybe doing a couple of grooves, some jumping jacks, get the blood flowing, inserting moves from the actual choreography in the warm up. Exercises. So from the beginning of the class, we're doing moves from the actual dance and I'm going to teach them so that they're practicing before I actually get to teaching the choreo. So that's how I kind of get it done in a short amount of time. Afrobeats is um, music and dance from West Africa and some um, South Africa as well. Um, right now, I know Afro House is really in and that's from South Africa, but most of the music we dance to in Afro Beats is from West Africa. All of my friends, everybody that I hang out with for the most part, majority of them are either Liberian or from some country in West Africa. So we all listen to the same music. We can definitely relate. My culture affects um, my Afrobeats dance by the fact that I'm just always surrounded by it through friends, through growing up with family, um, eating the food, everything just kind of ties in together. My message to everybody is um, anything is possible. If you have a dream, go for it. Um, don't let other people's fears and don't let other people's um, basically don't let other people's fears rule your life. Um, if you love something and you're truly passionate about it, don't worry about the money. The money will come. Just pursue it, put your 10,000 hours in and get really, really good at it. And trust me, it'll all work out. Anything is possible. <laughs>